Hello class. So I just wanted to make a little video recapping the differences between direct and partial variation. So first off, the graph for direct variation is always going to pass through that point zero zero, which is also known as the origin. For partial variation, the graph will pass through that y-axis anywhere above or below that point zero zero but it won't pass through that point. Okay, so for our equations, we have two equations we'll look at here. The first one being y equals mx for any equation in the form for a direct variation. For a partial variation, this one will be in the form y equals mx plus b. So this b that is added on at the end, what that's going to do is shift our line up or down along the y-axis. So the constant of variation is kind of like the rate at which the line is increasing or decreasing. So to find that with a direct variation problem, we divide the dependent variable by our independent variable. So in most cases, this is our y divided by our x. Or another way to look at it is how much it's risen divided by how much it's ran. So the, the run is your change along the x-axis. The rise is the change along the y-axis. So this one is similar, but we've got to consider some extra factors here. Because of this b, it's going to change how we calculate it. So our m is still going to be dependent over independent, but it's going to be the change in the dependent over the change in the independent. Okay, so what that means is we're going to have to see uh, from one point to another how much has our x changed and how much has our y changed? So we're going to use a formula that will help us with that. Or we can just kind of look at the graph to help us with it. We're going to take our y values and subtract them. And our x values to subtract them. And I'll use the table to kind of illustrate how we're going to do this. And also looking from the graph, from these two points you can also look at rise and run. Okay, so for direct variation, we can divide the y by the x to get the m value. And this one, if you want to quickly calculate your m value, you've got to find the difference in the y's and the difference of the x's and divide them. Uh, from a table, this one, it's not obvious that we have direct variation from this, but if we kind of trace our values, if we went up from here, uh, it's not really showing in the graph, but we would have that zero, zero point, our origin. Okay, so if this is a linear relationship, uh, zero, zero would be a point along this pattern. You can see here right away that zero, five is one of our points here, so it's going to be, it's going to have a point that starts above the x-axis. So it's going to start when y is equal to five. So if I wanted to calculate my constant of variation, I can choose any point here and take my dependent, which is 8, my independent, which is 4, and we can see that m would be equal to 2. Uh, since I already have this one circled, I'll use this as one of my two points that I'll need to calculate uh, our constant of variation for a partial variation. So if I take my two y values, 9 minus 5, and I take my two x values, here we're going to have 4 divided by 2, so then our constant of variation will end up being 2 here. I kind of skipped a step just because I was running out of room. Lastly, uh, from a description, we can look at this one, Mila tutors math students and charges $30 per hour. 
Okay, so if we were to create an equation for this one, uh, let's say C is the cost for her tutoring service, it's going to be equal to, let's say, 30H. So if we knew the number of hours, which would be our independent variable, we could calculate the cost. Uh, if we look at this one here, Jack is a landscaper, he charges $60 for a plan, plus $20 per hour for labor. So we can see here, we have that initial cost or that one-time cost that we're going to be looking for. So in this one, the cost in this would be $20 per hour. So we're still going to have something similar to the previous equation, uh, but we're going to have to add 60 for that upfront uh, landscaping plan cost. Okay, so hopefully this helps tie it together. Uh, let me know if you need me to review any of these concepts or if you, uh, if it's looking all right. All right, keep working hard. Sign off for today.